Okay guys, JH, welcome back. Okay, couple of things. Couple of variations that you can apply. Now guys, at the end of the day, the, C, the channel lock protocol is channel beside the body, shoulders closed, hitting into out, and releasing the club that way. Now you can do a lot of other things as long as you maintain those base tenets of channel lock. Now, a couple of people have been asking me about 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 the backswing because the backswing for me the backswing for me is a is a push down effect I push the club down and then it gets in here and it cocks up but that's me I like to keep it down because I don't want any when I keep it down I get good connection and I don't get the club going off plane it only gets up and planes itself with the turning of the shoulders if you watch what but if I get here and I lift it up, it's off plane straight away. But you can still lift the club up and stay on plane. Now, can you do an early, early sort of set of the club in the backswing with channel lock and still be abiding by the protocol? Absolutely, as long as that set is in the channel. Okay, now this is a... This would be an early set. Instead of pushing it here, it's this. Now, that's still a good shot. There's nothing wrong with that. I feel like my arms are flappy a bit. There's nothing wrong with the shot. And if someone has been using sort of a pickup set of the golf club, you know, their whole conventional golf life, it's pretty hard to, to sort of uh, bleed out or, or, or completely eliminate you know, something that's been learned over a million repetitions. So, yeah, so I'm just going to lift it up. Now that's eminently acceptable. What do I feel? I feel a lot more hand action in the shot on the backswing, clearly, because there is more hand action in the shot on the backswing. But no, nothing wrong with that. So to answer that question, yeah, you can do it. If you can do anything in your backswing, you can do it consistently well and efficient and, and, and in a repeatable manner and get the ball fight you want. Totally acceptable. Okay, so this is a pickup set. Actually, it's a very flowing process, guys, and <laughs> I wouldn't knock, that's a beautiful shot. I wouldn't knock that at all. I could play with that. So you can do that. Now, somebody asked me about a variation of that again, and it was uh, John Donohoe. Okay, okay John, John is enamored with the Count Yogi negative loading backswing. What Count Yogi did for those uninitiated is that that Yogi in his normal golf swing set the club with negative shaft angle and pulled his hands back first he negative loaded the club head and then it went into a positive load on the downswing now the good thing about that is that that preordains a positive set in the downswing because you cannot go from negative to negative in a golf swing you can't do that if you go negative you have to apply some form of positive but you can go in a conventional golf swing and I see it I've seen it every day for you know for 40 years uh, the club player where he goes positive negative but I've never seen anyone go negative negative and of course uh, John is is enamored with Count Yogi's takeaway because the Count Yogi takeaway with negative loading is very powerful action, guys. Can you use it in channel lock? I see no reason why not. I'll just try one. I haven't done a Yogi load for a long time, but I'll try. But as long as you abide by the tenets, the tenets of, um, of channel lock in the channel, no reason why you can't use a, a Yogi load.
And this is a Yogi Low. Wow. <laughs> and that is typical of, well I never saw Yogi hit the ball but I know people that did. That would be typical of Yogi's ball flight. Beautiful high trajectory, straight, lovely flight. So for, for, for John, for John Donahoe, I mean that's the first one I've done John, and it worked great, nothing wrong with it. Negative low. Now that's right, that's, I think that's landed within a foot of where the other ball landed and it's run up to like that far from the other ball. So it's very accurate. All right, now I'll, I'll incorporate that, all of that with the standard uh, uh, channel lock protocol and try and get a bit of ready code in the negative load. Look at this guys, you get lots of, uh, gee that's a long, wow, you get lots of, um, you get lots of slap release with Yogi because Yogi got, so Yogi wanted to do this, that's what Yogi wanted to do, he wanted to hit up what he termed the arrow line of flight, that's how he wanted to fire the club. So if you fire it up the line here, but release it that way, So, yeah, what do I think? Yeah, absolutely you can do that, John. I'll do it now. Very strong, probably 40 kilometer an hour, left to right wind here, and I'll hold this back into that sign. If I said that's the best shot of the day, it is. But there's a lot, there's a lot going on there for me. I mean, I love the yogi stuff. I love the motion of it. So, uh, and John said, will there ever be a yogi lock? Well, we just saw it. That's a yogi lock. More than one way to skin a cat than choking it with a pound of butter, as my Irish grandmother used to say. Never understood it, but there are lots of different ways to skin a cat. We've just seen it here, not that he'd ever want to skin a cat. Certainly not a live one. Okay, watch this guys, this is full on yogi. Ooh, yogi lock. Yogi lock. Nothing wrong with that guys. Lots of, lots of different backswings you can incorporate, guys. But at the end of the day, we've got to go there with the club, with the hands, and the club's got to go here. Now, I'll really overdo this, and I'll, and I'll really feel like I'm going to sling the club over here as hard as I can, but the ball will be well gone. I won't hit it left, but I bet I hit it very strongly. I bet I hit it extraordinarily strongly. Now that was a really strong shot and I got a really flat horizontal plane finish on that. Could I play with that? Oh you bet your life I could play with that. And they're just dead flush centre guys. Okay, I'm going to hammer this. What's the point of breakdown, the, the, the brink of disaster? I think you can hit this as hard as you like with that slap release left as long as the arms are going that way and the ball's not going to go left. It'll just go to the target. Because at the end of the day, guys, remember, the club face has got to point towards the target when you hit it. Your hands can be going that way, but the club face has got to be pointing there. It's 
step away. Square up the trail foot. Back cock, five o'clock nose. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so guys, I'm sorry about uh, not alerting you guys to that before. And it was interesting to have the two guys up here the other day. As soon as I showed them the left release, and they're good players. They're, yeah, they're, one's off two and one's off, one's off three, yeah. So they're good players. Um, but they just went hammer, hammer, hammer for like 40 minutes and just never missed a shot. So, uh, yeah, and they're pretty good uh, swing analysts, those two guys, and, and they were taking everything on face value where I said, you know, fire the club out to the ball. Well, the arms go out to the ball, but the club should be firing towards the target. The club goes around the corner, goes out here and then around the corner towards the target. Okay guys, just a couple of things. I, uh, I did have something else, but I'm trying to think what it is. But for me, generally speaking guys, the more I'm opening up my trail side again, my lead side again, the better I'm hitting the ball. I'll go with a full Monty, a lead side opening and torque, general swing. Step away, square up, back cock, five o'clock nose. And look at this guys, look at that club face. That club face is shut down about three degrees, which, which is obviously uh, represents the shot shape that I got, which was a little push draw. Because the path was into out, face was shut down, release the club towards the target with that amount of side spin, a little, little push draw back into the wind. Okay guys, uh, it's as windy as here. But I've got something, I can't remember it. I'll try and remember it off camera and I'll come back if I can remember it. Okay.